Protein bars are extremely popular nowadays because they are so easy to just grab on the go and use for a meal. Today, I was, and I'm still going to, review the Authentic Bar. My battery died on my camera though when I was almost done with the entire review. So, I will still tell you everything as it's fresh on my mind, as in 10 minutes ago. And I will let you know which bars you should get. I'm going to compare them to the Anna bar and let you know, because they're very, very similar, let you know what the differences are and which one I would recommend to you. And just overall, are these worth buying? My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes and I review anything in the fitness industry. I do full days of eating, I coach. So if you're into any of those kind of things, like this video, please, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> if you're ready to watch me eat a mound of protein bars again, then let's get into it. I'm already so deep in my calories that I'm gonna take a little nibble. I literally just ate these. This is the coconut cashew. It has the least calories out of the bunch. 240, has a couple less grams of protein than the others though. This one has 14 grams of protein. What I love about this one, that one is actually a cashew butter base and you can't really taste the cashew much. It's a much lighter taste than a peanut butter taste is. And the coconut really doesn't hit you until three or four bites in. As you're chewing, chewing, all of a sudden, boom, the coconut hits you and it's still subtle, but it tastes good. And I don't even like coconut. So that's saying something. For me, that bar is like an 8.1, 8.2 out of 10. I would definitely recommend getting that one. Next. The birthday cake. And as you can see, a lot of these, or actually all of them, are very greasy on the outside. You're gonna have to wash your hands after you eat these, but when you break it open, bunch of sprinkles. This one is 270 calories and 16 grams of protein. However, when you try this one, all you really taste is peanut butter. And then all of a sudden, when you're almost done chewing and about to swallow, you get a little bit of birthday cake peanut butter mix. And I don't know about you, but have you ever had a birthday cake that tastes like peanut butter? No. So this one doesn't make sense to me at all. I would not buy this one again. This one's like a 5.2, 5.3 out of 10. Not very good. Then we get to the peanut butter candy. This one is 280 calories, 16 grams of protein, and I mean, it's peanut butter candy. It's gonna be peanut butter base. This one has Reese's Pieces in it. And when you break it open, you can see the Reese's Pieces in there. And there's a pretty good amount of them in there too. Super good. Tastes like peanut butter. Then you get those crunches of peanut butter or Reese's Pieces. If you love peanut butter, you're gonna love that bar. For me, that one's like an 8.4, 8.5 out of 10. Feels great in the mouth, tastes great in the mouth. Everything is great in the mouth. Next, we're going to move on to the kitchen sink. I was debating whether I should have the Reese's Pieces first or the kitchen sink because the kitchen sink has the pretzels and then the Reese's Pieces one has the Reese's Pieces. So I was like, which one do I want? I love salty sweet. And when you open this one up, I don't have much of it left because I almost ate the whole thing. There's pretzels throughout. So you get your salty, you get your sweet, and there's a little bit of chocolate in there as well, which is probably why this bar is a little bit darker than the other peanut butter ones. I would rate it the exact same as the Reese's Pieces one, like 8.5, 8.6. It tastes super good, but this one will itch your salty and sweet combination taste. Like if you want something salty and sweet, this will do it for you. If you want something sweet on sweet, I would get the peanut butter candy one, but you can't go wrong either way. As long as you have the calories, of course, which we're going to talk about 
at the end of the review. The last one I tried was the mint chocolate chip and I almost ate all of it. If that doesn't tell you anything as it is, this one has green throughout it and also has a bunch of chocolate chips spread throughout as well. Like I can't even look in here without there being some chocolate chips. Oh, and this one's 280 calories, 15 protein. What I love about this bar though, is mint seems to mask flavors. This is a peanut butter base. When I did Saria's Oreo review, I couldn't taste the cream cheese filling tasting like cream cheese when I put mint into it to make a mint Oreo. However, when I didn't, it tasted like cream cheese and I was like, this filling tastes nothing like an Oreo, but the mint seemed to mask it. Here is the same case. The mint completely overpowers the peanut butter and if you gave this to me and I didn't know there was peanut butter in it and even with knowing there's peanut butter in it and I bit into it, can't tell there's peanut butter. Literally 0% can tell there's peanut butter. This is my favorite Jacked Factory Authentic Bar flavor, and it's kind of not even close. For me, this bar is about in the nines. I could understand if you didn't like mint, or if you're not a huge fan of mint, that you would maybe think that this is in the eights, like 8.7, 8.8, but this is still, in my opinion, the best especially in terms of tasting like a, what it's supposed to taste like. The peanut butter ones obviously are gonna taste like peanut butter, but a lot of these bars taste like peanut butter when they shouldn't like the birthday cake. This one tastes nothing like peanut butter and has all of the mint chocolatey goodness. As far as the calories to protein ratio goes, you guys know how I feel about this. I think that you should have 10 calories per gram of protein. So let's say there's 100 calories, 10 grams of protein, 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. To me, a protein bar is not a meal meal. It is like something to fill in, to have something in your stomach, to not be starving until your next actual full meal. For me to spend 280 calories and get 16 grams of protein is not worth it to me, no matter how good it is. I always hit my protein goal without any worry in my mind, especially for the amount of calories that I could eat every day. So people try to argue that, oh, it has protein in it and it's not just a candy bar. At that point, for me, I would rather have a candy bar. Clearly though, there is a market for these bars, which is why I'm doing this review. People are eating up the Anna bars, people are eating up the authentic bars, they're making new flavors and it just seems like this bar is very successful. The Outright Bar is like what seems like the originator of this type of bar. Obviously it has a full assortment of flavors and is very successful as well. There's a market for these bars and I'm giving you my opinion based upon not thinking about calories at the start when I'm trying these. Like I'm going solely based off taste and if I would buy it again based off the flavor and the taste. Let's go over pricing. So in my mind, knowing that I can get a Kirkland bar for $1 and I can get a Quest bar for $2, I think in my mind, and I might change my mind in the future, at this current point, my brain says anything between one or $2 is a good price. If I'm gonna pay a little bit over $2, that's okay, but it has to be an extremely good bar, but no more than $2 really is really the goal for me to spend on a protein bar. When I look at the pricing of a protein bar as well, I don't just look at how much it costs on the shelf. If I can only get it through shipping, I'm including shipping into the pricing. It would be stupid not to, especially because some sites will give you free shipping over a certain amount. Some sites don't give free shipping some products you can go and get the product in store and there is no shipping you can either walk there or drive there which costs pennies on the dollar compared to shipping i do have a code and affiliate link that i was given for this product however i will not be repping this product in the future and i would rather see someone that does rep this product as is and supports this product on a regular basis get supported by this review. So if you do like the authentic bar and do decide to buy it based off of the flavors and you're okay with the calories and all that other stuff that goes into this review, use code Ethan20 or Mina. Ethan Harold is a great creator and Mina is also another great creator and they work their tail off 
They both represent Jacked Factory. And I would like to show some love for them in this review, as well as you should too, to use their code to get 20% off your entire order when you do go to Jack Factory. Again, that is Ethan20 and Mina. So when you use either one of their codes, you get 20% off. A box costs 25, so it's 20% off, you're down to $20. Then with shipping, you are at $27, and when you break that down for a box of 12, that is about $2.25 per bar. For me, that is a little bit out of my price range, but 225 is still very doable. And if you're supporting a creator such as Ethan or Mina, or you love Chris Bumstead, you love the bars in general, you love the flavor, the calories, all that stuff, if you have no issue with anything, I see no problem with spending that little extra dough. I have spent extra money. I spent like Christian Guzman came out with a ghost pre-workout. I paid almost like $3 per serving to get the Christian Guzman um, pre-workout, and that was just to support Christian at that time. So I completely understand if you do support somebody and spend that little extra cash to do so. Now, when you're looking at Anabars, Anabars are $30, and then when you use code RJF10, or maybe, I don't know what Sush's code is or James English code is, but with the 10% off, you get it down to about $27, but with shipping, which is $8 for them and $7 at Jack Factory, you're at $35. So what you're looking at is about $2.92 per bar. For me, that is out of my price range. Clearly though, people are eating them up and every time they have a release, they're selling out, especially when it comes to the cookies and cream and their new Fruity Pebbles. So there's a market for it. There clearly is and people will pay for it. But when you're comparing the two, that is 225 per bar versus 292 for, per bar, which is about a 67 cent difference. And when you think about it, oh, it's 67 cents. Well, multiply that 67 cents times 12. And then if you order any more boxes, we're talking about, you know, what is that? 27 out the door versus 35 out the door. That's like a 20% savings on each box. So if you get three boxes from Authentic Bars, you're gonna save $24. That's a lot of money to save on just three boxes. So keep that in mind. Again, if you wanna support Remington, you wanna support Seuss, you wanna support James, you wanna support anyone that's affiliated with Anabar, of course, I totally understand that. But I'm looking purely objectively from a price point perspective and Jacked Factory definitely comes out on top. Nick, why are you still talking about Anabar, about Remington, why do you have another man's name in your mouth? This bar is literally the same manufacturer, the same packaging, the same everything. That's why I'm comparing the two. These are two of the major bars in the industry right now, and people are gonna ask me in the comment section because they know that they're very similar Oh, how do they compare? I might as well do it like this, then comment back the same long answers to everybody. If you enjoyed the review, please like this video. If you wanna see any other reviews similar to this, please let me know in the comment section which ones do you wanna see reviewed, whether it be a bar, whether it be, I don't know, uh, chips, whether it be whatever cookies, whatever product that I can go buy at GNC or whatever, I'm willing to try as long as I can get a, like three or four of them to review in the same review. So let me know in the comment section below. We got a pizza pot pie coming extremely soon. So subscribe to the channel for that. And until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do say